That's right. We saw some showers and storms like that earlier this morning on the backside of that low that brought us all the severe weather yesterday. But we will continue to clear out and dry up and we've got a nice warm up for your weekend. But in the meantime, it was cool out there today. Temperatures currently still down into the low 60s there in Lancaster, 68 degrees downtown. Uh, the radar showing mostly clear conditions, so much different than this time yesterday. We do have some clouds in place again still uh, on the backside of that low. We do have some residual moisture in place but that low, which is now right over the Four Corners region, will continue to push out and we will continue to clear up. And as I said, we've got a big change in store for your weekend, including much warmer temperatures. I'll have more on that and the rest of your five day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. That's right, no fighting. We've got some good weather coming up this weekend, so uh, we can all be happy. It's Friday. We got through the worst of that storm yesterday, and we're on the back side of the low, and that's what's bringing us some clouds into our area still today. Uh, we had some rain showers earlier this morning, even a few thunderstorms off the coast, but as we look right now across the valley, just beautiful conditions out there. Uh, temperatures are a little cooler today, so it's a nice fall day for you. Temperatures were running below average. So uh, most areas about 5 to 10 degrees below average today. Downtown we made it to 71. The normal high is 79. Our current temperatures still staying into the upper 60s, the low 70s on this Friday evening. The winds have started to pick up uh, generally coming in out of the west, but definitely gusty because these are the sustained winds. So we've got gusts uh, anywhere from 30 to 40 miles an hour, a possibility from Lancaster into Apple Valley and take a look at the cloud cover still in place. We've got partly cloudy skies out there on the backside of that low that brought us that wet weather yesterday and cooler temperatures today. But now anywhere from Vegas to Denver, we've got rain and mountain snow. Uh, take a look at this. This is that area of low pressure that moved through our area yesterday. It was a cutoff low, took a little while to get through, so the rain lasted a little longer uh, than expected. But now that it has pushed on through, high pressure is building in quickly. It's going to bring us a nice offshore flow. Uh, so eventually by Sunday, the winds will be coming in out of the north and east. And you know what that means? We've got a ridge of high pressure and an offshore flow. Well, our temperatures warm up. In fact, not only into the 90s in the valleys, but we're even looking at temperatures into the 80s at the beaches. So beautiful weather for your weekend. So for this evening, we still have some clouds in place. Even a few light showers could be possible over the mountain areas. It's going to be cool and breezy. Uh, west winds at 15 miles an hour, but again, gusts well above that. For tonight, chilly out there. Temperatures getting down into the 50s. We will clear out, so it's going to be clear and cool west to northwest winds and then eventually those winds shift more out of the north and 80s from the coast further inland. Look what happens by Sunday mid 90s in the valleys 80s at the coast and just stays just lovely but a little on the warm side for the valleys even into next week. Expect sunny skies to so put the fall clothes back away. Uh, back to you guys. Well, I'm already <laughs> planning on doing yeah. uh, that's right because um, it is going to feel like fall tonight and then after that we've got a big warm up for the weekend. So that storm system that brought us the fall like weather for a couple of days has now shifted to the east. We've got a chilly night on tap for us on this Friday night. Lows getting down into the 50s, uh, but get ready for a sunny weekend and a big warm up by Sunday. We're talking 80s, 90s across the Southland. In fact, the next 24 the afternoon. A sunny, comfortable day. Temperatures into the upper 70s, but again, 80s and 90s for the rest of the weekend. Details on that coming up at 6. Paul, back to you.